A huge late Brexit breakthrough could be in sight with UK officials reportedly prepared to water down Boris Johnson's controversial internal market bill in a dramatic move that could inject much-needed life into failing trade deal talks with the European Union. The Prime Minister had set a deadline of the European Council summit in Brussels for the outline of a free trade agreement to be agreed. But negotiations collapsed, with Mr Johnson warning Britain will leave the EU's single market and customs union at the end of the transition period on December 31 without a trade deal unless the EU substantially changes its stance. A huge stumbling block over recent weeks has been the introduction of the UK government's internal market bill, which would look to rewrite key elements of the Brexit withdrawal agreement the Prime Minister struck with Brussels last year, subsequently breaking international law. The move infuriated the EU, which is taking legal action against the UK with demands Mr Johnson drop the controversial clauses contained in it relating to trade with Northern Ireland in order for a full agreement to be struck. The Prime Minister has so far stood his ground on this issue, but Bloomberg has reported government officials believe he could be forced into a dramatic change of direction when members of the unelected House of Lords remove the clauses that would breach international law. Peers in the upper chamber will begin debating the bill on Monday but this week are expected to vote against the draft law entirely and will almost certainly remove the most controversial clauses over the next few weeks. This would pile pressure on Mr Johnson over how hard he would be prepared to fight to keep the clauses as the clock ticks down to the transition period deadline. But people close to the matter expect the Prime Minister to drop, or at the very least, water down the most difficult parts of the law if he manages to strike an overarching trade deal with the EU, potentially as part of the negotiations with the bloc. One insider suggested the law itself was always only intended to be used as a tactic in negotiations with the EU, while another said minister would be prepared to include extra guarantees to dilute the most contentious powers in the bill. Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove, who is also leading the UK's No Deal preparations, is set to hold talks over issues covered by the new law with EU counterpart Maro Sefcovic during a joint committee meeting on Monday. The UK's chief Brexit negotiator Lord Frost is also due to meet EU counterpart Michel Barnier in London early this week as the two sides desperately try to reach a compromise on a trade deal.